greetings to all let us thank god today's thought plant a seed of positive thinking in your brain then only we get a plant of success unit 3 poem 3 this is our memory poem today we are going to learn the poem on killing a tree it is written by jeev patel It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. This stanza tells that killing a tree is not easy. It is time consuming. A simple cut with a knife cannot kill a huge tree. A tree has roots deep down the earth, absorbing nutrients and using the sunlight, water and air around for years. And it sprouts out leaves from its disfigured bark. Meanings Jab A short quick blow or cut. Crest The brown hard outer portion or surface. leprous covered with scales hide the strong thick outer skin so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size These lines mean that the hack of a knife or an axe or chopping of a bow is not enough to bring a tree down. The jab may give pain on the tree, but the pain is not enough to kill it. The bleeding part will heal with time. New green twigs will rise again from the ground, which will grow to bigger branches. If this growth is unchecked the tree will regain its original size No the root is to be pulled out one of the angering earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth gave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth in that stanza he speaks that in order to kill a tree the roots which are anchored inside the ground has to be pulled out to pull out the roots it has to be roped and forced out of the earth with all the might that leads to the exposure of the most sensitive region of the tree which had been hidden and supporting the tree since its birth then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done the last stanza says then when the roots are exposed to sunlight and air it dies slowly by browning hardening twisting and withering only then the tree will be completely killed let us read once again the poem on killing a tree written by jeev patel It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. 
so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding pop will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size no the root is to be pulled out one of the angering earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth gave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering and then it is done about the poet on killing a tree is written by dr jeev patel jeev patel is one of the prominent indian poets his famous works include evening phosonic medicine and from bombay central he has also penned three plays he has been conducting a poetry workshop in rishi valley school for more than a decade this poem is taken from his poetry collection poems published in 1966 next exercise identify the poetic device of the following poetic lines there are three lines we have to identify the poetic device or figure of speech there are three poetic lines the first line it takes much time to kill a tree in this line the consonant sound t is repeated in the neighboring words take time to tree so t is alliterated the poetic device in this line is alliteration next line the bleeding path will heal in this line bleeding and pak are the two words repeated with the consonant sound b so b is alliterated and one more figure of speech also here that is personification the liquid from the tree is compared as the blood from the human being so it is metaphor and the poet says that the hurt of tree also will heal like human beings injuries so it is personification so we can get alliterated words metaphor and personification from this single line the next line one of the angry earth the figure of speech in the sentence is metaphor a metaphor is a figure of speech which compares two things without the use of comparison words such as like and as here the poet compares the anchor to the root of the tree so it is metaphor the poet explains the process of killing a tree a lot of work has to be done in order to root it out completely it cannot be accomplished by merely cutting it with a knife the tree has grown strong with the help of sunlight and water for countless years even the bark of the tree gives rise to leaves the boughs sprout new twigs and leaves in a short period they grow into a new tree so to kill it completely one should take out its roots completely from the soil then they should be exposed to sunlight and heat only then the tree will be completely killed i hope that all of you understood to prove our understanding we have to save trees save earth and stand tall and proud be content with your natural beauty 
பி பிளக் சிவில் லைக் எ ட்ரீ சி யூ சூன் குட் லக்